Hi there, how are you today? So in this video, I wanted to talk about connecting with our spirit guides. There are three steps, three very important steps, three <laughs> that we're going to talk about today. Okay, so for those of you who are interested in connecting with your spirit guides, step number one is to ask. I say this all the time in all the videos and through that, oh, when love leaves, <laughs> that's all I say. Ask, ask, ask. Because if you do not ask them to assist, if you do not ask them to be with you, to give you signs, to talk to you, to communicate, if you don't ask, they cannot come through. So the first step, the most important step is to ask. Because you have free will, remember this always, we have free will. Our souls, they had free will. They decided they wanted to do all this stuff when they came here, right, to earth. So once you're here in this realm, in this reality, beings in other realms cannot interfere with your reality unless you ask. They can't just come in and fix things for you and do things for you, and guide you. It doesn't work that way. You have to ask. Because in asking, you are saying that you're giving them permission to assist. You're giving them permission to guide you. So you need to ask, always ask. It's the, the most important step. Without it, they can't come forward. They can't assist you. They can't show up. So ask it's the most important step step number one ask asking them for assistance for guidance for whatever even when you ask a question please spirit guides i need help with fill in the blank right whatever that blank was you're asking you're giving them permission to answer you to step in and answer you're giving them permission. When you ask, you're saying to them, you're allowed into my reality. You're allowed in to this reality here with me. I'm asking you to be here with me. So number one is ask. Number two, allow them in. It seems pretty simple, <laughs> but allow them in. Number two is to allow. If you don't believe in spirit guides, they can't come in. It goes against your reality. You're saying they don't exist. They can't exist. Well, then how can they come in? You're not allowing them in with your beliefs. Your beliefs are blocking them from coming in. So allow. And to allow, you need to believe there's a possibility that they exist. So I'm asking for your assistance and I'm allowing you to assist me. I'm open is the third one <laughs> but we'll get to that one so you're asking and then you're allowing them to come in to assist however that looks you're allowing okay you're you're getting rid of all the beliefs that you might have that they don't exist or they can't exist for whatever reason i'm not asking you to believe that spirit guides exist this is not the purpose of this video this is a possibility for you. This is a possibility. Everything is possible. You know, we have infinite possibilities at our fingertips. If you can see it, if you can imagine it, it is possible. If you believe it is possible, it is possible. It's when you don't believe that you're saying it can't be possible, then it won't be in your reality. It can't be because you're saying that you don't believe it's possible. Therefore, it can't be possible. Because again, because of your free will, if you're saying that something doesn't exist, they can't just show up out of the blue for no reason. They won't just show up. Your spirit guides. You need to address your beliefs. Uh, you know, is it possible? that I have spirit guides. Is that a possibility for you? Because if it's not, then you won't allow them in 
You see, no matter how much you ask, you won't allow them to be in your space. So the first one is ask. The second one is to allow. And to allow, you need to get rid of all the beliefs that would block them from coming in. You need to say that it's possible. You need to allow for that magic to happen. It's possible that spirit guides exist. What if they exist? Let's start there. And then number three, the third step to communicating or connecting with your spirit guides. Number three is to be open. And this is where the beliefs thing also, you know, you need to get rid of all the beliefs that are going to get in the way. You need to be open and allow them to communicate with you. However that looks. Being open means that you don't have expectations or, you know, you're not expecting it to show up a certain way. The moment you have an expectation that it needs to show up a certain way, your spirit guides might have sent you 50 messages already. But because you're expecting this magical moment to appear, this magic that's supposed to appear a certain way, you might have missed all those messages they've already sent you. You need to be open and allow whatever to come through. You need to understand as well, spirit guides, angels, all the beings on the other side that are waiting for us to call upon them, they already know you. They've been with you your whole life. The spirit guides, the angels, the ancestors, all these beings on the other in the other realms waiting. They're just there. They've got nothing else to do. They're infinite, limitless beings. They're just hanging around, <laughs> you know, until we call upon them, until we ask them for assistance and until we allow them into our reality they cannot appear but when they do appear they know you so they will try and send you messages or hints in very subtle ways but it may not be what you expect is going to be coming if you have expectations that it needs to look a certain way, you might have missed all the messages they've already sent you. So you need to be open. Ask the question, I need assistance with whatever it is. I need help with. Help me with. Please, spirit guides, help me with. I'm asking you to come in right now. Call them in. Call them in to be with you. Ask them. And then say, this is what I need. I need assistance with this. I need help with this. Allow them to come in. If you get a visual, great. But again, don't have expectations. You know, just allow whatever image is coming through to come through. Accept it. And the other thing that they love to do, what I've noticed, the beings on the other side, is confirm. You know, I've had so many confirmations when I receive information that it's real, that it's really what they wanted me to know, what they wanted me to find, the information, you know. So ask for confirmation and they will be more than happy to send you, you know, confirmation so that you know that, oh, yes, this is exactly the answer to what I've asked for, you know. So I know firsthand that for a really long time, you know, the angels kept their distance when I first started communicating with them. They kept this really, I could see them from far away, way, way, way up high in the sky because that's what I thought, that's what I thought they were supposed to be there. You know, in my mind, in what I believed, they were up there in heaven and I could see them up there. But the moment they came down to be in my space, I completely fell apart. I was a mess that day. You know, I started crying and crying and I couldn't stop crying and I had to go to work. So I went to work, you know, my face all come, you know, and through even at work, I'd find I had to be hiding because, I, you know, I just got so overwhelmed with the love that came through, you know. 
but they came through because I was ready for them to be in my life. I was ready to have them here. I said it was possible. I invited them in. They no longer had to stay all the way up there in heaven, miles and miles away so that I could hardly see them. Now when I see them, I get to see all their features. I get to see everything. They look amazing. So ask. Number one, ask. Number two, allow. Allow them to come through however they need to come through. Whether it's a whispering in the ear, whether they come through that night in a dream, whether they show up physically that you can see them. Allow. And number three, be open. Be open. We have all these expectations that they need to come in a certain way or they need to look a certain way. Be open because otherwise you might miss all the beautiful messages that they've already sent you. Be open. Ask. Allow them to come in and be open. And ask for confirmation. Again, ask is the main thing. If you're not sure, you know, the first time I received a beautiful message of love, a symbol of love from Archangel Michael, and it was the beautiful pentagram. And I kept asking him, are you sure? Because this has got nothing to do with love. You know, it's like to me, that's <laughs> but he chose that because he knew that I never would have chosen that as a symbol of love. And so when it appeared in my life, and there were so many of them, I had no choice but to realize that one, I had really had that conversation with him, you know, and two, that he was real. I hadn't made it up in my head because before that I'd had many conversations with my guardian angel and many conversations, you know, with, <laughs> and especially my guardian angel. I had had conversations with Archangel Michael before that and Mother Mary before that. But again, all of them, I'd always thought I made them up in my head. So ask for confirmation. They're more than happy to, you know, reveal to you that, yes, this is, this is what's going to help you. This is the way. This is the path. If you're lost, you're not sure which way. What should I be doing? What should I do? What's the right decision here for me, for my journey? Because they know that, you see. So they know what your soul's path is to assist you. All right, my darlings. Very simple things. But if you don't ask and you don't allow and you're not open, the magic can't happen. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And let me know how you go. Yeah, when you do start connecting with your spirit guides. I'd be interested to know if you get a visual, what they look like. Oh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about a little bit more about all of this stuff. Okay, okay. I just had an idea of something I need to talk about. All right. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.